This is the example. Um, we just continue from the previous video. I'm so sorry about the some uh, technical delays uh, of this presentation. Okay, this is our uh, petaling a grid um, as according to the specific locations located in our map. And then based on these particular cases um, that already being indicated in the case database, we specify these particular diseases that already being reported according to the specific um, uh, date. And in this particular case, we specify it under specific month. You see, this is for the December. Okay, this is for the January. And then um, accordingly. All right. So let us begin with one by one so that we can make a superficial interpretation based on this output. So the first one, if you can see here, uh, this is the idea of the disease uh, centered started where um, we have a lot of accumulation um, in terms of the disease that already been reported in this particular district. You see, so many is being uh, accumulated here. So using the um, ESDA, Exploratory Special Data Analysis, we can uh, also understand the pattern of the distributions because after the December 2018, the disease is being spread accordingly, see, from the uh, very bright color, uh, bright red color, it's already being shifted to another grid. This is suggests some sort of movement of the diseases as according to the different uh, spatial and temporal reasoning. And then we can proceed with the uh, February regions. And remember, some of these cases are overlapping. Any, you see, uh, this one is the repeated cases also accumulated in that particular areas. And then we also have the new cases that already been established in the nearby locations. So usually we use this kind of um, exploration of data to to identify and to justify. A specific movement of the diseases that already been um, identified uh, in our data set. <coughs> so in February, for example, it's already been spread nearby, and then uh, during March, we can see some sort of uh, new emerging locations that supposedly not um, indicated is already there. You see, this one one, two, three, four. This is four new hotspots. They are already being identified and also uh, reported in this particular district. So, um, guys, this is just an example of um, how you can use the QGIS to sort of estimate the movement of the disease spread uh, to be used in your estimations and to be understand how the behavior of the disease uh, spread according to your nature of the uh, spatial or location basis. Okay, with that, I hope you can understand this uh, video and see you again. Bye-bye.